Hello, my name is Timothy Lemoyne, and in this video, I believe this is part six, I am showing you how to do final assembly. Uh, it's felt like a long time coming, but this one is the video. And uh, through the magic of video editing, I'm able to show you this one. I show how this bad boy got assembled. If you need plans for this, they are free. They're on my website. The link is in my description. Uh, I go to a lot of trouble to make sure that the birdhouses are bird friendly as well as attractive. And uh, in this one, I'm pretty confident I pulled that off. So enjoy this last video. I will have links to uh, hanging uh, birdhouses and how to paint at the end of the video. So if you stick through to the end, uh, if those are useful to you, go ahead and click on those as well. Thank you. Right, it is dry assembly time. And that basically means that you're gonna put your birdhouse together in the absence of glue. No glue on this one. If something is not the correct size, we wanna be able to find that out without having to pull things apart with glue on it. So uh, you notice I'm doing some camera adjustments. I'm trying to get you the best angle possible here. And uh, I'm gonna start putting this thing together without glue. So uh, this is my back. You can see which way my angle is going. Uh, my bottom, if I'm looking at it, it should go side to side here. If you put it the wrong way, it does not go side to side. You'll see it comes up short. Have it the correct way, it's important. Uh, my sides, uh, bringing my sides in here, and uh, I've already drilled all my pilot holes. Something you can't see up here, I am feeling for flush across the top. Same exact thing as occurring on this side. Uh, the very tip of this piece will line up with the tip of this piece. Very, very important when we are trying to make sure that our birdhouse is gonna look good. And next up is gonna be the top. So here's a view of the top. And uh, you'll remember from an earlier video that when the top goes on, it should be flat straight across. The top does overhang the edges some. We're gonna talk about how to center that. And uh, one of the final pieces then is going to be for the front. And uh, the front should fit comfortably inside. And when we set it down on top of the bottom, these surfaces should be even or so darn close it's almost not even noticeable. Brackets, of course, end up going inside. And we are searching for any issues or any parts that are not going to come together. Right now, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. This would be the section on things you will need. So step one, you need some screws. Go to my website, www.timothylemoyne.com. I explain exactly what kind of screws you need and have links. So those are something that you need. Uh, you need glue. And as you can see in my classroom, I reuse uh, mustard containers, but I fill it with a very specific glue. Another uh, piece of information you can find from links on my website. Uh, you need a drill with a specific drill bit diameter. Check out my website for that size. And then finally, uh, you need to have the appropriate bit. Once you've gathered all those things, you are ready to begin assembly. Currently, you are on step one. I have my back piece. In the vise, it is just barely above surface height. And uh, you can see how my point is facing. The point slides in this way towards the table. I also have a side piece. I've elected to put this side piece on like this with my writing out. And even though my markings are not on the inside where I'd line up my bottom, I had what is known as chip out. I ended up drilling through this piece and I didn't have a proper backer board in place and it chipped out. I'm okay with the bird seeing that, not okay with me. So that is going inside where only the birds will see it. I'm gonna take glue now, and I'm doing a thin bead of glue. And uh, when you use a mustard container, it will come out really, really fast. So you wanna be sure and just use enough. Also keep in mind that we don't glue all the way down to the bottom of our part. So we don't need glue all the way down this edge. Thin line is all you need. I highly recommend you have some paper towel handy to wipe your hands off. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and place this on top and I'm using a finger to make sure that this surface right here is even. So important to the overall quality of your birdhouse. 
I'm also making sure that this surface is even. And I actually kind of watch all the way down. And uh, this is where, if you're kind of new to woodworking, it is really, really wise to have a friend hold this for you while you drill and drive screws. I've been doing this for a while, so I can pull it off all by myself. Um, but I would say go with where your skill level is. If you're new, don't be too proud. Ask somebody to help you. I'm gonna put some body weight on this. I'm gonna put my drill in. You do have to make sure you're going forward. And uh, there's levers on all drills that go forward reverse, so check into that. It's kind of funny to watch you try to drill a hole in reverse. Um, so if you just wanna entertain me, you could do that. I appreciate you if you do. Um, on drilling holes, I'm going about half of the drill bit in and I'm going full speed. You will notice that I am only drilling one hole at a time. Same thing, I do want to make sure I'm going in forward. And this one I do not do full speed. I do short little bursts like you're seeing here. And I am going to drive it so the head of the screw is just below the surface of the wood. That's going to give us our best look. Now I'm coming down to the furthest away one and I'm going to go back. I'm putting weight on this and I'm feeling for flush. And I'm going to drill. And then I'm going to drive. The reason that I have you feather this in with just short bursts, so just tiny little twitches. The reason I do that is because if you pull the trigger, that screw goes all the way through. It ends up in Australia, actually, which is kind of strange. They end up seeing it poke up through the earth and they freak out. Just below the surface. And then the final one, this is gonna stay put now. If you made any mistakes, don't be too proud to pull it apart. Wipe the glue off, fix it, and try again. One of the things that I look for on a high quality birdhouse is Everything where two pieces of wood come together are flush. So there's that first sequence. Watch for the next. Step two here, uh, you do have to go in this sequence to ensure your success. I am focusing on the bottom. You see I've got lines there placed and ready to go so that I can put a screw through her. Uh, when you place this in, there is a right way and a wrong way. If you place it the right way, these edges are even with each other. If you place it the wrong way, they are not. Watch for those things. Where this bottom comes in contact with the back and the side, we need glue. So I'm going to glue this guy up. All right, so what you didn't see while I paused there was I've added glue to this piece. It's on the two sides. I've smoothed it out. Uh, you can see it's shining there a little bit. And I have placed it in. I am now going to rotate this, and my job is to put a screw right through here. Of course, I'm going to drill it first. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this now, and I'm going to bring it all the way over to the edge of the table. And what you'll see a lot of kids do is they will bend at the waist and try to drill. Horrible technique, and you look weird doing it. Notice that I have now taken a knee. Uh, I am going to hold, I kind of reach around, so sorry for blocking your view. Basically what's happening here is I am holding this in and uh, I don't know, I could try to do it left handed. If I screw up, you guys can laugh at me. Um, but start out with the drill, hold all this in tight and I'm starting out by going with high speed and drilling. And same as I've shown before, you're going to put a screw in. Be sure that you feather this. This I can't do left-handed because uh, I know I'll mess up. Um, notice that I'm keeping everything in tight to my body, though, as I do it. That's the best technique. Just like in other spots, that screw needs to be below the surface. Then I'm going to rotate it over, and uh, there's a screw to be placed in there. For this, I actually do stand up and I'm gonna hang this off of the edge, okay? And uh, for this particular guy, ooh, actually maybe I'll just keep him up like that. I lied. Uh, for this, I wanna make sure there's no gaps in this space, so I'm gonna end up pushing down a little bit on this. I'm gonna use my body weight, which actually is getting to be a little bit less these days, which I'm happy about. 
And just like before, notice how tight I have this drill to my body and right below the surface. So we've got a screw in the back. Now we're coming around and we're going to put another side in. So on the other side, uh, this guy is going in here. I'm looking for flush along the top, flush all the way along the back. This is the top of the birdhouse. This is where all of my joints need to be tight. So when I put my roof on, there's no gaps. Not that that would discourage a bird, but because it looks bad. So same as before, uh, thin bead of glue. I am learning that uh, this glue coming out of a mustard bottle, out of a spicy brown, uh, it comes out fast, man. I darn near get too much glue on it every single time. Uh, so make sure you don't do a squeeze. And uh, if you do happen to get runs like I'm getting, sorry for my bad building practices here, um, have that paper towel ready to roll. So uh, this guy's going on top. This is another place where I think if you're an experienced woodworker, you'll be able to hold drill and still keep these even. And if you're a beginner like students in my class, it's time to be nice to other people and ask them to bless you by holding this piece for you. All right, so I feel like a broken record here, but uh, make sure that everything is even. This is a high-speed drill. I like to bring the drill up to full speed before I can feel it hit that next piece of wood. Uh, we did draw or drill pilot holes, so we know that those are going to end up being in the right spot. And again, you really got to work on your finger dexterity. Because if you're not feathering and you're just whoa, you're going to ruin an otherwise nice birdhouse. So get that first one in, adjust any things that might have slipped. I like to start here, get one there. And uh, the middle one is just kind of for extra strength. So feel in here for flush, putting my weight down, keeping this in tight to my body, and putting a hole in. Purpose of the glue, it is a uh, waterproof glue. Um, purpose of the glue is make it last 10 years. Purpose of the screw, hold this thing in place until the glue dries. The glue is the real workhorse here. The screws, in all reality, I guess we could take them out um, after the glue sets up, but like I said, I'm designing birdhouses to last a decade. So, with that in mind, <coughs> I try to be sure that uh, I have multiple uh, ways to hold these things together. So now we have two sides and a bottom. This part might not surprise you. This is the door. No glue. No glue. Be careful. All right, it is top time. And, or, and I'm sorry, it's front time. Make sure you have a ladder inside. You may have to finagle a little bit to get this in. Mine, I would call it a titch, a small amount, uh, tight. Yours might be a titch loose and you're gonna end up having to squeeze things together. Once I have that piece in, I like to tip mine on the side. I like to feel for flush here and here because those are my important key points. And uh, just like before, I'm drilling and putting a screw in. This is your hinge. So this piece is going to end up going up and down so that you can get in and expect, uh, inspect uh, what's going on inside. Uh, creeping on birds, as I like to call it. And uh, it is just an absolutely thrilling thing to do. No glue in here. I don't know if I can say that enough. Uh, some of you are going to make that mistake and you're going to beg me to pry it open. Um, and after I smile a little bit at you, I'll probably give my best shot, but I can't promise you it's going to work out. So, unless you have tons and tons of faith in me and my ability to fix mistakes, uh, you should just make sure there is no glue in here. So, even, even, okay, let's do this. Same as before, the screw head goes in. Flip it around, we're gonna repeat. You might gonna have to uh, persuade this into uh, you know, submission to get it to actually line up. So I'm gonna fight with this a little bit and I'm gonna get it to line up. And uh, that's just how it's got to be. 
All right, so I finished fighting with it and uh, I did manage to get this flush across the top. And uh, you can see now that I have a functioning door. Uh, if I'm gonna walk away from this for any amount of time, I always leave it open so that if I do have a droplet of glue in there, that I can actually, you know, have the leverage to break free of that glue. Uh, I am noticing that I have another screw to put through here, which I missed earlier, so uh, good to let you know that. Even for a guy that's been building birdhouses for, well, I think I built my first one as a fifth grader, and I'm getting old now, so I still occasionally make a mistake, okay? Uh, these are actually going to be, um, basically I would call them a door lock. And uh, while I put a screw in there, I'm going to do that now. All I'm doing is kind of putting the dent in there to start out. I put it in. I take it right out because I want that dent there. I am not going to leave this with the existing um, screw in there because when I paint, I want to make sure I don't paint my door shut. And uh, I also, when it's all said and done, oop, reverse. Um, I put a Phillips head screw in there because a Phillips head screw is way more common. And when I'm out checking on birds, uh, I can just go out with one little hand screwdriver. All right, so what you're gonna see me do next is uh, open up a vise. And uh, I am standing my birdhouse up because I want it standing in order to get this roof on. And uh, I'm drilling holes by sight alone. And uh, you're gonna have to do the same thing. Uh, if you just feel your edges, you're gonna try to center it. You might be better off using your eyes. Uh, but the idea is, is we get this overhang here and here the same. Along the back, this should be a perfectly flush straight line. And that's gonna make for a high quality birdhouse if you pull that off. We are gonna glue the top down. Glue goes on the side, the back, the other side, but not the front. If anything, open that thing up so you don't accidentally put glue on it. It's very important that it not be there. You need to have a functioning door. This is a 10 year birdhouse. And uh, as soon as you glue the door shut, it becomes a one season birdhouse. Because if a nest is left over from one season to the next, most desirable birds find that unacceptable. They don't wanna be where somebody else has got a nest built. So the three sides only. Then you're gonna pull in your top. And uh, like I said a moment before, you're gonna make sure they're even along the back and feel along the edges. You will definitely need to have another kid hold this on if you're a new woodworker. And just like before, I am drilling pilot holes. And I'm starting in the corner nearest us. My eyes are looking right down this piece here. And I'm gonna carry that information down and across. And I'm gonna come down, I don't even measure, I'm gonna say around two inches. And uh, if you don't know what two inches is, you can go ahead and grab yourself a tape measure. There is no shame in doing that. So I have my pilot hole, and without allowing this to shift at all, the glue will hold it a little bit. You can see I let go of it. Same as we have been doing. I'm gonna feather this in. While I only have one screw in there, I'm gonna look to see how my spacing is doing on either side, and I am happy with it. So I'm gonna come over, same thing, I'm lining the drill bit up, carrying it back, but this time I'm trying to get it straight across from the other one. So I might spend a little extra time finagling to get that thing placed just right. When I'm looking down this, I want my drill bit to go down to the center of that piece of wood. That's the goal. Okay, I'm going to do four total screws in here. My original screw is right here, although I doubt you can see it. 
I need to follow this line straight down, but not go too far off the edge because there's no birdhouse under here. So I just go down a few inches. Again, I, I don't measure, but you're welcome to. I do kind of sight down the end of it and make sure I'm gonna hit wood underneath and I'm gonna put a hole in. Just a little side note, I felt my drill go through our ventilation hole. I tried to be smart in this design and design it so the length of the screw wasn't long enough to actually show in there. So as a guy that's made a mistake or two before, I try to make sure that I design knowing that I make mistakes. And uh, I think that makes me a good designer, but I also think it makes me, you know, just a good guy. Uh, good enough, I guess, because uh, I'm pretty comfortable with not being perfect. This is the final screw. This is usually where I screw up and uh, wreck the whole birdhouse. I'm hoping uh, that doesn't happen here. Man, dodged a bullet. This is my finished red shed. Well, finished assembly. Uh, while glue dries, I leave doors open, man. I'm paranoid about gluing my door shut, and I think you should be too. Oh, man, just when I thought I was finished. Uh, we got brackets. Remember, these are for aesthetics only. Uh, they have absolutely no role in the strength or integrity of your birdhouse. They get glued in, and uh, I'm also going to shoot a nail through them because that's fun, and uh, it'll help them stay in place while the glue dries. Teeny tiny bit of glue on both surfaces that'll touch wood. Spread out the glue. Wipe your finger off on a paper towel, not the table or your friend. Slide this guy into place. Repeat those steps on the next one. And if you have glue that's gonna drip off the edges, like me, before that glue gets any chance to set up, you best be opening up your door. I'm gonna go shoot a couple nails. Come on with me. All right, so a nail gun, if you've never used one before, uh, it's got a safety feature built in. When you pull the trigger, it's not gonna shoot. Uh, you can see this guy here. It's not until this guy gets pressed into a piece of wood that the trigger actually fires. Uh, I'm not going to push it in with my finger there, though, because that would just be foolish. Uh, but you'll see that part get pressed in. I'm going to shoot a nail kind of in this area here. And uh, I don't want that thing in that hole. That would be ridiculous. But again, I'm looking for flush pieces. I'm trying to make this look nice. Okay, so that nail's not really gonna like do anything other than it's holding this piece in place until my glue has a chance to set up and dry. And that's its only job in life. And once that glue is dry, sure, he'll hang out for 10 years, the life of the birdhouse, but he won't be doing anything. It's a good life. Okay. Uh, Open your door so you don't glue it shut. All right, well, it's been a long time coming, but uh, my birdhouse is done. I am gonna paint it. And uh, of course, you know me, I'm gonna hang it. And uh, I'm gonna have birds come into my yard more so than they used to. But uh, I wanna thank you for watching this series. Uh, I hope that it's been helpful. And uh, if you feel like it has, feel free to comment below. Uh, as always, I have links down in the description that takes you to my free plans. I don't ask anything for them. I do put some affiliate links in there that earn me a small commission. So if you feel like you want to click on a few of those and buy your glue or your screws or anything else like that through there, obviously I appreciate you for doing that. Um, I do have videos on painting, so I can put links up in the corner for those. Uh, I currently have a video for hanging it, which I can put a link in the top for. But uh, otherwise, it's been great. Uh, take care. God bless.